uh, I actually really like the concept of living on a salt over time. But like, it's like every hobby's dream to have a pair of clownfish. Most of the stuffs are illegal. Even most of some of the fishes varieties, creatures we put in a salt over time, like most of them are banned. There are very less right. varieties we can keep on our tanks. This is actually a 35 centimeter cube tank. It's been now six months, I guess. It's already bursting with the macro algae. You better start selling it or giving it off now. So what what's the temperature that you are currently maintaining? Uh, let me see. I think it's actually it's now it's a 28 at the moment. 28 huh, in Bangalore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so nice to have you back on the weekend aquarist welcome back and uh, you know a lot has happened since the time we last had the podcast you see the uh, you know terrarium has come up behind me now and it's, nice, it's nice. shaping up it, it's shaping up i can up. see it's beautiful it's beautiful right and and you have also kind of you know added some new things to your the nano uh, tanks that you have and we are here to talk about today about your macro algae tanks. You know, when I ran that story uh, last month, a lot of people started inquiring about it because we had not done the podcast. We had done the right, interview right. and then, you know, so people are following up. People are asking about, hey, tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, so I thought it's best that we get you to tell them exactly what it is it takes and uh, let's talk about that that uh, star of the show right behind you okay so over right. to you gabriel yeah so as you can see this is the macro algae you can see some beautiful clowns on the back uh, i actually really like the concept of living on the soul over time but like it's like every hobby's dream right to have a pair of clownfish so right. but it well but uh, something what's got us stuck is actually the difficulty what we hear about salt over tanks. Like they're difficult, they are not easy to maintain and all the stuff. And they they right. can be more expensive, like three times or four times that like a fresh water tank or something. But right. uh, this is a different concept actually. Like see, normally in India, uh, we can't have corals in India because corals are banned. And the only option we have is just to keep a fish only tank. Right. Yeah, like most of the stuffs are illegal. Even most of some of the fishes varieties, creatures we put in a salt over time, they're old. Like most of them are banned. They are very less right. varieties we can keep on our tanks. So, right. but a fish only tank doesn't in, have a more interesting thing. I mean, there's no thrill uh, you see you more on it. So, I actually happen to know about this macro algae, uh, which is actually salt water plants. Okay. So it's not a plant, but we can just uh, name it like a salt or a plant or something. So it's a okay. macro algae. Okay, it's an mm -hmm. algae that kind of looks like a plant and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's more interesting and it doesn't need to be very expensive to be done or uh, there's no size limits for your tanks and all this stuff. Okay, so this is actually a, a 35 centimeter cube tank. It's been now six months, I guess. Wow. Six months, it's, it's been it's six already, months now. It's, it's already bursting with the macro algae. You better start selling it or giving it off now. <laughs> yeah, I do do have talents. So I think I just tried to sell off some of the macro algae. So people will have more opportunities to get this stuff. Because yeah. uh, like most of the varieties of macro algae in, here in India, uh, mm. they are mostly seasonal. So you don't get it always. Okay. Mm. And mm. even shipping and all this stuff it's actually very difficult like they are very sensitive they don't mm. stay in your uh the boxes around like more than two days i guess they will mm. die suddenly mm. so um so this variety is very hard so i think i i'll try my best to actually promote this hobby for this macro algae okay the things that i can try <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And, uh, I, you know, it is a trend which I see is picking up internationally. There's a lot of interest and I'm glad that you started it off in India as well. So uh, tell us a little bit more about all of the equipment that has gone in. Uh, tell us about the salt water itself. You know, tell us about the pH. Tell us about the salinity that will help people understand it better. 
like for equipment and all the stuff uh, there is nothing more complicated on this okay so this is a this is a 35 centimeter tank cube i have actually running with a normal canister filter okay with some biomedias on it uh, mm -hmm. you will get biomedias for salt water marine stuff and all the stuff the other thing is like the ph stays around 8 7 like okay. that and for salinity levels okay so like mostly for a normal salt water tank in a fish only plant tank uh, people can uh, run from 30 ppt to 35 or 36 or if you mm. say it like 1.0 uh, 0.20 mm. to 1.025 something like that mm. 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 okay so so here there's nothing much just to maintain the sanity levels i have an auto topper so mm. it's an f zone auto topper so it will keep the water level always you know added up like because water, water evaporates right yeah. so water evaporates and in a salt water tank yeah. uh, the salt doesn't evaporate it's always just the water so you need yes. to uh, uh, top right. up the water to so you can maintain the sanity so i have an auto topper for this tank Yes. and it's actually having there's a small yes. uh, drum which is actually have an ro water ro di water actually right so right. it will top of the water automatically when the sensor has uh, reached right. the water level so the sanity will be always maintained like pakka 35 ppt and all of stuff okay uh, even cage does play a good role also same thing so you have to also maintain uh, cage around uh, 7 8 same like ph mm. Mm. so mm. that these are the equipments and for a light you can run with a good rgb light so what i'm using is the uh, azure b the indian main brand so right. you can use that light also it's a very powerful light so it's good enough for the macros actually right. and uh, yeah yeah these are all good things you can actually have if you actually have an idea of adding a chiller to your tank it would be a good mm -hmm. option because mm -hmm. uh, they are sensitive to higher temperature so uh it's okay to not add a chiller okay but it's okay but there are some varieties that can uh, be yeah. melting or something because of the higher temperature but uh, like uh, kulepa varieties like these macros uh, they are fine with higher temperatures like they can go all the way to 30 uh, degrees celsius 30 yeah so what what's yeah, yeah. the temperature that you are currently maintaining now uh, let me see i think it's actually It's now it's a twenty-eight at the moment. Twenty-eight, ah, huh? in Bangalore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mumbai sounds better that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now it's yeah. actually a fluctuating climate at the moment, so it's up and down right now. Right. Right. So how how have the clownfish taken to it? And you know, because usually they would look for an anemone to kind of host them and all, right? So. Right. Um, so actually uh, for the clowns okay actually for the clowns most of the varieties what we get to buy nowadays are captive bred so they don't rely on animals or something okay like they don't mm -hmm. see animals and they are tank bred to say at least the same thing unless they are introduced so mm -hmm. these are same captive bred ones and okay. they don't have an animal over here so they are fine totally okay right right and they are actually very friendly so They have a character to them. Once you start, they will always see. You can still see it through correct, the whole correct. video. There, they have love on my side. Correct. And uh, they, they recognize you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are actually very. I mean, it's it's a different uh, character. Like it's not like freshwater fishes. They yeah. have a character to them. They have feelings yeah. or something. We feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> so they do they do have a personality have have right, right. in the past and all but um, you know don't beat freshwater fish down here because you know <laughs> if you if you really look at it oscars chanas flower on right, right they have personalities too and uh, you know they are they are like your pet dog itself you know they have that kind right, of right. and they have intellect they have intellect right right, right. but uh, you're right marine obviously you know different challenges different charms uh, all together so how many macro algae tanks do you have or is that the only one no it's not just one <laughs> i i think uh, i want to i am actually okay. around 4 5 <laughs> okay but they are very small tanks okay they are, they are not bigger than these tanks is small okay. 
just for my macro backup sessions. That's it. And and how important is the flow, water flow? I mean, the external canister will give, but do you also provide a wave maker, a mini wave wave maker, nano wave maker inside? It's good to actually have a, a good flow in the tank because it's a salt water tank. They actually doesn't matter if it is a macro tank or if it's a fish only tank. Flow does play a good role on it. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's very important to have a good flow. Uh, but it's not necessary that you have to add a canister filter for a macro area tank. You can mm -hmm. run it with a small hang-on filter and add a wave maker to it. Okay, mm -hmm. even if it's a small tank, it's fine. You can actually add the small wave makers you get. And uh, it will be fine, but just maintain the what uh, flow, which is important. Okay, and you tied them to what lava rock, uh, the mm. collar pearl. They are yeah, right. lava rock. Okay, right. That's, so that's... there's one, there's one thing like generally, if you add lava rocks to your uh, tank, people will say like they really uh, leach a lot of stuff, like they leach iron and all this other metals mm. to the water. Mm. But it's fine for a macro tank. Okay, so mm -hmm. like macros do love ions and also other metals. So mm -hmm. they'd be fine, literally fine with the lava rocks. So you can choose mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. for the aesthetic purposes, uh, I think it's better to use the white, uh, like, you know, marine stones you get these days mm -hmm. from the stone. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you have any red macro algae, if they, you want them to stand out, you mm -hmm. definitely would require a white stone or like okay. lighter color. Because in black right. lava rock, they don't stand out much. Okay. In your tank behind you, I, I can't see the rock itself because the, the macro algae <laughs> have taken over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been I've been following your post and, uh, you know, right from your setup and all. We, but we'll show the audience also some of those clips. Um, right, right. What really, what really, you know, caught my eye was the, the pearling that happens on the macro algae and you've captured some very nice photographs of the pearling also happening over there. Uh, so does, does this, I, I saw a clip because I got a little confused. Uh, was it CO2 injection or was it an uh, air, air uh, aerator that you had put up over there? <laughs> it's an air, it's an air diffuser. Yeah, I'm adding okay. oxidation to the tank. So okay. it's not a CO2. You don't need to add CO2 for macro. Right. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's good to actually add this oxygenation because it helps the macros grow faster and right. it also will help the entire marine ecosystem inside your tank get yeah. better in one day. So it's right. good to actually add one air stone. If, right. Like if you're using an air diffuser, it will actually produce very small bubbles and it will help more oxygenation happen in your tank. Right. But yeah, you can use an air diffuser, that's fine. Or if, you, if you can add an air uh like air stone or something that's all fine no issues okay okay so uh, gabriel you know how do people reach out to your your instagram handle is whispering waters bangalore right right right, right. Yeah. and uh, we will obviously share your uh, contact number also so that people can reach out to you and uh, you can guide them and obviously you know help them out with the first supply of macro algae also from your various tanks. Okay. So I, so, I do have a uh, couple of varieties, so I can actually yes. give out some good variety ones. And I can help Which are the varieties? So they, would, you, would you want to kind of name them? Uh, which all the ones that you have right now? Yeah, yeah. Actually, the one you see now in my back, the mostly grown one, the, it's actually called feather algae. But if you call in a scientific name, it's called Pulerpa taxi, taxifolia. Okay, yes. so there's also these green grape varieties. Uh, they're actually not seen the time, but they are there inside. <laughs> uh, they are also a Kuleta variety. There's okay. also a red grape. There's a, a, another Kuleta variety, which is also called red grape. Uh, there's a red, another variety called dragon, red macro algae. Uh, and there are much more varieties, actually. <laughs> so the red grape one, if I remember again from your photographs, they almost look like a coral. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. They look like <laughs> right, corals. Right. For those of us who can't keep corals, might as well think that they're looking at a coral and watch that. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah, it's actually a very interesting macro, the red grape one, because yeah. uh, they're very beautiful and thus literally look like grapes when they're, what, when they're huge bunch. Actually, I don't know if you can see them. 
but see you can see some red varieties yeah. they are the greys actually they are struggling at the moment because of the feather algae covering up not giving any light to the sun <laughs> but okay. yeah they are doing good actually i have to trim this tank because of their growing features and actually and there's actually one thing like yeah. macros like kulepa varieties they grow very fast okay so mm. like growing mm. fast in a sense you can see one leaf grow to 1 inch in one day and that's oh, not just one God. leaf and uh. that's just not one leaf like if you put a stem like it's a new tang and all this stuff you put a stem you see the next day you will have one size one inch size leaf like around 10 or 12 of them it's like that wow. fast okay wow and it's important that you have to add fertilizer to your tang you have to okay. it's just like uh, any fresh water tang you have to add fertilizer right and uh, right. there's actually one brand uh, like aqua vascular they are actually selling macro algae fertilizers okay so i'm using their fertilizer aqua oh yeah 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 dr uh, dr anurag and grab it yeah right that's that's so, dr anurag's brand yeah 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 so he is actually uh, selling his macro algae tanks and all stuff i mean macro algae fertilizers and he has actually many okay. varieties there's an all in one there's these uh, separate ones you can act, actually add uh, depending on the deficiency you see and uh, yeah right. it's actually very good fertilizer actually it's a, it's the only indian made brand i would say uh, it's a very good one and actually if you are referring my name okay. i can give you some discounts it <laughs> 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 okay <laughs> so i think that's good for the audience to know and uh, you know you need to remember who's <laughs> referred you to dr anurag okay and the uh, name of the brand is aqua vascular we'll obviously right, right. show the images of the product also in this uh, final edited version gabriel so nice to have you back and thanks for sharing this very nice uh, you know uh innovation i would say because it's a new thing and uh you know i think something that all the hobbyists who want to kind of get into marine but have been waiting for uh, some motivation they want to kind of okay planted tanks they are there now that's a tick mark want to kind of do a tick mark on the marine side also so instead of just keeping a fish only tank they can actually go for something like this and that's Thanks, really man. going to be something awesome thank you so much uh, gabriel nice catching up with you until next time thank you man.